chicken pies. Man, we got another one. We, we, we had another one that we did around that same time. It never got released. No, no. Nah, but it's 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 some crazy stuff, man. That was a great great uh, choice in there. All right, y'all. So we're gonna um, toast. What you got? What you got, Ad? Yeah, I'm rocking that uh, carbonated water once again. Carbonated water. All right, for y'all at home who's enjoying your time, um, sitting back, I want to shout out to Kind Hearts too. Kind Hearts, uh, work with them and my man Bert, who's in town. You know what I'm Bert? saying? Okay. Yeah, exactly. You, um, to my boy Big Wino out there, to uh, Rick. What up, Rick? Um, to everybody around and close to globe, globe. Peace. Yeah. I want to say peace to y'all, peace and tea. Peace and the tea. first time you take it, it's it's good. Second is tea. Second. The third time is treasure. So treasure for y'all. Treasure, treasure. Yeah, that's ah, matcha. That's right. Yeah, that's matcha. I'm feeling the matcha. I might have to bring you know, get a little matcha. matcha for my place. You know? yeah. yeah, come on, man. Matcha is... It's real green tea. If you want to get tea, if you want to get green tea, get matcha. It's not, it's not, it's not a game. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Then you gotta make it, so it's real. You know what I mean? You have to grind Actually, it. Actually, yeah, yeah. And the thing about matcha is you consuming the actual leaf. You're not just uh, extracting the oils and the nature and all that goodness and stuff like that from it. Wow. You're just gonna actually digest the entire. Thing. Shout out to Kahas. I got some uh, matcha coming. Yeah. Soon. Oh, okay. And then. Um, yeah, we put, we're gonna put something together real good. Real good, I got some fruit. Tell me what kind y'all got. So, so some like, some like, uh, some savor trickery. Uh, somebody said Jesus save all. Oh, we got Big J. <laughs> Big J in there. Aqua, matcha, turmeric. Hey, Bilal's doing it up. Um, twist the iced tea. That's cool. If you want to put some ice in it, you can make some iced tea, which is good. Uh, I, I like the creamy taste, huh? Matcha iced tea. I don't know how that tastes. Matcha iced tea. Oh, I, I had it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I actually. Yeah, like a sweet, like. It's cold, man. It's 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 good. It's like a um. It's got a grassy feeling to it. Mm. You know what I mean, but. Uh, like a healthy, bright, bright green. You know what I'm saying? You can turn color into a taste. You put any lemons in it? You don't sweeten it up. Honey. Nah, 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 nah. Honey, you honey, honey for the. Up. Yeah. You only do the honey when you when you going down. When you if you going go beat. <laughs> right. You gonna go to beat or something like a real strong herb? Like you gotta you gotta mix it with honey. I think that's probably why the honey is there for you. Right, to right. Take. Uh, beautiful caution and peace of things and give it back or certain because they why would bees make something so sweet like honey you yeah. know the flowers yeah but they know that we probably got to take some type of herb and mix it with the honey yeah, yeah. and like Hari Hari said that bee pollen mixing up in there is kind of good too and the body runs on glucose hey so we need that sucrose so we can you know have energy in our, and in our system right. our brain runs on sugar right and so the glucose is a is a, a scientific deep level for what sugar? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Hey, glucose, brother. Hey, glu what coast are you from? <laughs> East coast, west coast, or the glucose? Yeah, glu <laughs> glucose. Sucrose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shaolin or Wu Tang? Man, you see that? You see that movie? Which one? Um, Shaolin versus Wu Tang. Saw so master master killer. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Great film. Yeah, I watched this movie to break them down. <clears throat> he had to lead a school, then he had to come. Well, Wu Tang saw it. Mm -hmm. I was just watching that Unbeatable Twenty Eight. Is that is that what it was? I That's think it's called it Unbeatable Twenty Eight. That was crazy when they had to go through. It was a couple of flicks, man. They had to go through the, um, the different chambers. Um, said belts don't hit back. One important belt you got you know, everyone needs is a seat belt. <laughs> <laughs> you have a seat belt and that's it. Marzell Constellations. Okay, we going up, we going up. Honey lasts forever. It never spoils. Yo, man, that's see. See, that's ill. Yeah, think about that. That joke. means that means you could just have honey just stored in your cabinet 
for like five years and just sit there. Oh, yeah. Everybody wanted it. Oh, yeah. The badger. What is the <laughs> the honey badger? Yeah. The the bear. Now the bear is a big nigga. Yo. Yeah. Just said for he want to eat a little bit of honey. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What's yo? Come on, if you got something that humans love, the bear and the badger. Yeah, they love it. They love. What else? What else? Animal love. Uh, the honey. Humans love. I mean, everybody loves honey. Everybody. You know mm-hmm. When the fish taste honey. No. Now nah, they eating plankton and stuff like plankton, that. Yeah, yeah right. Plankton is not. But plankton is um. Does that that don't taste like? That's just like algae. Algae. But that. Uh, I hear what, what you're talking about the whale because I know fish. Is, what, what, what eat whales that? eat fish. Yeah. Uh, the, you're, talking, you're, you're talking fish. about the the marine food chain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how they develop a taste for worms then? You talking about um, fish? Fish. Well, they, what they eating? They're scavengers. I think that they're eating. They're eating worms. They're eating a bunch of different things. Yeah. You know? No, I said. How did they develop the worm? Taste? Is a, a that's why I asked about the honey because the worm lives on the planet. I mean, it's on the earth. Right, right. But they uh, they under the they under the what's the name? How did they just develop that taste for it? Like, okay, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, even if you was fishing, even if yeah, a fisherman yeah. just threw it up in there. And put it in there. I'm gonna ask the chat room. Let me let me go to the experts. What's up, chat room? Yo, how did they develop? It's an ants love honey too. Ants yeah. love honey too, right? Yeah. Shout out to the ants. Yo, I got something for all of that. Yo, shout out to the ants. Ants, ants, ants like anything that's sweet. It sounds like you, you 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 know what I mean? Yeah. You notice that you you, you spill like a you know like a soft drink on a soda or anything, the ants will start coming. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a like reason for that. Sweet. Yeah, it's, re- it's something about that. Sh- they do something with it. It's something it's about they like that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a sugar. So I don't know. Um, a side of night, a side, a side night. It says, "What is uh, sabaism?" I think it's sabaism, but we have to ask Tahuti that one, huh? Sabaism. Yeah, I guess so. We gotta wait for. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because it could, it could, it could mean anything. Yeah, you, you know. When you guys send questions, try to make sure to send the word like in its proper form. Thank Sometime, you. Sometimes, you know. Yeah, thank you. I mean, this is the show you you can get the answers yeah, to it, but we yeah. got to go yeah, in and we got to look it look it up and see what it what so it's I'll, about. So I'll I'll save that one for Tahuti. Hey, yeah, save that for him. Sometimes tells me you're just gonna float through the door. <laughs> I been it was that Ib Saint was well, Saint P twenty five. Ch- shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Said big ups to Killer Priest A D. And all con- con- um, contributing members of the podcast, the energy surrounding the podcast has been dope. Education and plus solid vibe the entire show. Shout out to you too. Salute to the guards. AD, last time when we was on the show, we forgot to um, to put so Rick up there. I ain't got nothing you want. He was in, uh, in the chat room. So I told, told him uh, we got him next time. Okay. Um, we said we learned all basics from animals and insects. Yep, that's yeah. true. I heard there was a um, yo. Could you pull up um something real quick? I played this a long time ago, but I want to do this about the tiger, and then we can go into the other stuff. See, we never can get uh, the tiger. Uh, put it put in its tiger story once again, and then we got to do this, yo. So deep, tiger story on Ted. Ted talks. You remember that one? Yeah, there you go. Here, here he goes. Check out this story, yo. You're gonna have another respect for tigers on so on another level. You gotta let me know where to fast forward at because it's 18 minutes long. All right, you're gonna, it's gonna be quick. Yeah, um, we ain't doing the whole 18. He's gonna tell us one Start, story. Start uh, with a tiger story. Okay, got it. Uh, in 2007, I went over to the Russian to Far Duncan. East to investigate a series of tiger attacks. Mm-hmm. And the Russian Far East is a rough place. It borders North Korea and China. Winter temperatures drop to minus 40. It rains a lot in the summer, the bugs are brutal, uh, and these attacks uh, took place in a remote valley where prior to the collapse of the Soviet Union, uh, logging and fur trapping had been the principal industries. But when I got there, uh, these towns I saw reminded me of Depression-era mining towns. Poverty, despair, and alcoholism were rampant. Um, Many people had, in order to survive, had simply fallen back on the forest, which they called Mother Taiga. Once I saw this, it was easier to understand why an unemployed logger named Vladimir Markov might risk hunting a tiger. 
especially when less than 100 kilometers away on the Chinese border, there was a new and thriving <coughs> living memory. And when I spoke yeah. to people about it, they referred That's karma and that's gangster. You, saw, you heard what he said? Yeah, yeah. Did y'all catch what he was saying? He basically said that he wounded, he shot the tiger, right? Mm -hmm. He wounded him. Okay, the tiger basically said, okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get him. Remember this scent. On some alpha. Yeah, on some alpha <laughs> shit. They followed him back to the cabin. <laughs> followed him. Then what he did was the tiger goes in and he went, goes into his house, <laughs> sniffs his, his, his clothes sent, sent to get, just to get the scent. scent. Then leaves the house, waits for him to come back. Wait a minute, you got a part. He chased his dogs off. Oh, he chased the he dogs chased off. everything, yeah, to so get him wow. out. He studied them so he knew he'd be looking for this dog. He chased his dogs off. <laughs> the premises didn't wait it. It didn't wait it for him. <laughs> Yo. Forest Guardian. Yo. Here's the thing though. He said he met him head on. <laughs> Yo. How do you had a gun. What kind of gun did this guy have, man? You gotta have a semi-automatic weapon. You gotta have an automatic weapon. He must have just had a shotgun. We had a tiger, yo. You know what I'm saying? He he must have had a uh, he must have had a shotgun. Because matter. if he would have had you, you mean to tell me if he would have had an AK-47, that, that SK. Agile, that agile, or, he got to be a perfect. But see, the thing is, here's the thing. This I want everybody to listen to. The, the thing about this is that the tiger is a stalker, yo. He never seen him coming. <laughs> he don't know. He could go out there. He never <laughs> seen a tiger coming. Hey, here's a question. Here's a question for you. You think yeah. you think that, that the was tiger, gangster, yo. You think the tiger, like, seen him leave a few times? Yeah. Like, he didn't, he could have, he could have got him. Yeah. But he didn't get him. He just waited for him. Waited for the right waited time. Waited for him. Wow. Great time. Understand the tiger, yo. Yo, yo. That's crazy, yo. 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 Bugged out. <laughs> yep. Uh, Stony Pebbles, shout out to you for turning it uh, gold. He said, peace to the gods. Your Rasu is just from ATL, Big Black Biscuit. You know oh, him? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my brother. He linked with uh, yeah, Santana. Motorcycle. That's the one who, that Santana was talking about. That day. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah. We doing high science with Tesla coils, healing oils. Going to build or going to rebuild my body. Yeah, my man, Big Black Sh Biscuit. Shout out to Santana. Santana, man. yeah. The, uh, my man, um... My homie out in Atlanta, he had a, a motorcycle accident. Right. And uh, left him paralyzed. Right. You know, and uh, yeah, man, um, I love that brother, man, because we always, I always hung out with him when I was in Atlanta. You know what I'm right. saying? And uh, yeah, he's in, he's right now currently paralyzed in uh, right. right now. But if, you know, if Santana's telling him that he can, you know, get, get the, get the te Tesla technology to, to try to rebuild his body or, or whatever, hey. That sounds great. That sounds really great. Yeah, it's good. No problem. I'm laughing at the chat room. Yeah, y'all know. He said he got his tight. He got his uh, he got his what's the name frosted. What he got his flakes got frosted. <laughs> Yo, AD, you missed that tiger story. Yo, it was hard. I was listening. Yeah, you was listening. The tiger turned back around. Yo, stalked him out. But that shows you. Yeah, play a little bit more. He yo, broke yo. a barn. Watch, you got a little bit more, and that's yo, hold it. Hold on, though. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's keep it real. What kind of gun did this guy have? It don't matter. No, man. It don't matter. So you mean to tell me, Priest, if you had an AK-47, right, right. full body armor, right? you mean to tell me that uh, 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 that kind of weaponry can't take out a tiger? You can't hit what you can't see. You so, know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? All right, so now. he must have, like... He must have, the tiger must have just jumped on him then. Hey, listen, bro. Listen, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He met him. It's all, they stealth. Somebody said it in the chat room. So it's like the tiger, the tiger was sitting there and it could be no movement still. Like they got it like a photo, like it's a picture. You know what wow. I'm saying? Plus, they, plus yeah, the yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, if it's snowing, it's, you a rap. Because yeah, yeah. They you, all, can't, you can't, you can't really. The snow. You can't, and, yeah. And you got to look, the tiger hunts. What does what, what the tiger mean? Um, for what they, they they hunt bigger animals than humans. Right. They don't right. even yeah, hunt that humans. Is true. But they hunt bigger animals with, with weapons that's on them, right? Like right, horns. Like horns and they know how to stealth them out. So what's a, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> if they stuff and they on the back of something and taking out alligators and jaguars and yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you know, not the jaguar, but you know, yeah. um certain alligators and yeah, big yeah, buffaloes yeah. or whatever they, they take down by themselves. 
Man, you you could be out there all along. <laughs> I last you like this all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he not going to move until you put that down and turn the right angle. Man, it's an animal, man. It's just instincts. Somebody said a grenade. A grenade would have definitely... Uh, Definitely would have stopped the, the tiger. Now you caused the you caused the forest fire. <laughs> Anything <laughs> crazy? You don't blow up the whole thing to kill this one. And you got to make sure you hurt you hit him. You pull yeah. it out the thing. You threw it out there. No, they and got you the cause all this commotion going on because you're trying to kill the tiger. Yeah, yeah. And you might not always get him. Yeah, yeah. Because you you're not going. So you're not going. If he see you going like this, <laughs> first of all, you can't. You got to. You got to. You got to. You got to see the tiger, which no one is going to see him. No uh, one. I don't care he what you think. Hold on, though. He said that um, he met him head on. He met him head on. So he must have seen. He what take it back a little bit, bro. So we can. So he must have seen. He must have seen. He him and the tiger had. They had eye. No, kind of. he would. He would have <laughs> ran. That's what I'm saying. Go ahead, oh, go oh, oh, play play this part again for it. Where he proceeded to search out items that had Markov scent on them and chew them to pieces. He then. Uh, Mark the perimeter around the cabin and lay down to wait. Markov was away. He was trying to gather his dogs, which had been dispersed by the tiger. And when he returned that evening, armed and ready, the tiger met him head on and uh, killed him by his front door and then ate him. And what quickly became apparent to me, however, is that the Markov case was an aberration. Right. This attack was the first of its kind in this valley in living memory. And when I spoke to people about it, they referred to tigers uh, in the feminine, like ships, and they had a saying, the tiger will see you a hundred times before you see her once. Boom. Dang and when I asked them how they managed being alone in the forest with a stealthy predator three times the size of a mountain lion, they said, if I don't touch her, she won't touch me. And there was this unspoken uh, legacy of trust that was born out by history and experience. And Markov had violated that trust. Uh, you can stop it right now. I right. want to so, emphasize. So, so yo. What did, what did he violate? He <laughs> violated. By, so he, did he, he tried to kill the tiger, right? At uh -huh. first. Because the tiger basically got mad at him. What did, he, what, did he, what did he do again? He shot the tiger. He shot him. Like he wound him. Yeah. So he must have seen him and got scared. Hmm. I mean, that's up there. That's that's on to. I don't know. I mean, it could be that way. Yeah. I, I'm thinking he might have just saw the tiger and was trying what to get him what some what tiger tiger oh, rugs. He, oh, oh, he probably tried or to kill to, the tiger. Yeah. Whatever he did, he saw the tiger. Probably wanted his fur. Which you huh? don't do. You never. No, he was hunting that tiger or something, man. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 yeah you yeah. you don't see tigers. Right. 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 You don't right, see tigers right, until right. they time to, for them to eat you. <laughs> You just don't. That's what you said. You, you yeah, are, yeah, they'll yeah. see you a thousand times before you can see them once. Right, right, right. So he was out there, saw the tiger, and and blew at him. Right. The tiger was like, hold on, hold on. I know this motherfucker is shooting. <laughs> Show him what time it is. Yo, out of respect, he ate him. You know? that, 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 that's an honor right there. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like you shot the tiger. The tiger came back and ate you. <laughs> now you... Now you, now you grass food. Wow. <laughs> you come out as grass food. Yeah, he yeah. did. He disrespected the tiger, man. Somebody said karma. And then if you look into the Vedas, right? The tigers are all in the Vedas. Yeah. So that was a karma. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, well, the, you know the you tiger. You have to respect the tiger. <laughs> Trouble man said I can't beat him. He'll do tiger style on me. Yo, the tiger, man, I'm telling you. The tiger style. That was a, that was an amazing story. I, I like I like I love the animals, man. So yeah, when y'all go back, you can watch the whole whole thing, and he'll he'll tell you how um, it's just called it's called the tiger story and on Ted's talk, mm -hmm. and um yeah he, he's gonna break down. Now they have lions. They have lion story. We can go over there in Africa. They got different type of uh, lions story, but you know lions is like. Packs, but if you break that, you break that law. You know what happens with the lion, man. They got the, they're known as the king of the jungle. And why? Because elephants are way bigger. But mm -hmm. the thing about the the lion is his heart. Right, right. The lion right. It does it doesn't back down from nothing, yo. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Somebody said, "Heaven, man, is there an earthquake in the rocket?" Uh, because it sure is shaking. Are we all shaking? I don't know. Maybe you see something that I don't see. 
Oops. Yep, listen to Jizz's Animal Planet. Shoot, sure, I got some stuff. What's Animal Planet? Oh, was a song? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got the song, The Spider. I think I said, yeah, you, I, I yeah. heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hot, yeah, yeah. I, I don't song. think anybody heard that yet. Yeah. Nah, nobody heard that. I got a couple of songs about animals. But we, we talked about um, animals a lot, man. And um, you just, you love animals, right? Yeah, I love animals. And you look at yeah. the, we learn a lot from um, animals. Yeah. You know, they said that goats would, um, these wild goats would eat these, um, these uh, beans. Mm. And um, they would, the farmers would react, look at them, how they react. They were more lively. You mad more dog wild, me, man. Right? And so they go get these beans and they they, um, they observed them and they went to go try these beans. They started eating them first and then he got the same thing. But it was mm-hmm. caffeine. It turned out it would be coffee. You know what I mean? Oh, it coffee oh, beans. So, it was, so it was the goat who actually like discovered discovered it. Yeah. Mm, that's interesting. Well, they discovered the goat. Discovered, discovered, the, discovered the, the coffee bean. Um, speak factual. Uh, stash. Oh, I can't go. I can't pull it back down. It went up too quick. Somebody said coffee. 362 in the house. Man, make sure y'all hit that super chat. And, um... You know my favorite animal. I stashed my capsule inside the, uh... The satchel. Big Apple and walked to the Lions Den before Daniel. Hey. Shout out to, uh, Brooklyn Bless. Big up the Brooklyn Bless. Spit a, spit a dart. Planet Asia has a song called Tiger Stripes. Yeah, mm. beautiful. That's a dope yeah. name, Tiger yeah. Stripes. Big up the Planet Asia too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You don't. We must respect nature for we are mere speck of it. That's right. We act like animals too. Somebody said we like. Uh, we're creatures. That's right. Well, you know the word animal comes from the word anima, animation, mm. animism. Right. And animism is anything that any loop, move, any living thing moving in, in the form. Everything is animated. You know what I'm saying? So animal comes from animation, animism, the various forms of nature, species that's in nature. Right. So we in there? Of course we in there. When they said, uh, mm-hmm. we're saying, uh, where's Mazda Tawab? When it says in Genesis that um, um, that um, Adam named all the Adam, all the animals all the lip, lip, in, yeah. in the field. In the field. You know what I'm saying? When you go back into naming it in that oneness, when you go into that oneness, and you can have that power to start naming all the animals. Mm-hmm. So you take it to a um, yourself in the esoteric field. You know, I'll, I'll go with you on this uh, too, AD. Yeah. Because you start naming the animals, you that one, you got that power to start naming, and, 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 and that's that's. Mm-hmm. But the animals are always there. It's all well. We all talk. We all. We, I think me and you probably reference a lot about animals in our me, you, Nas. Uh, Anybody who's a poet, all we always we always reference animals in our rhymes. I don't think what Nas. He talked. Remember, he said uh, in the first, on the out, first album, I ran with a with, oh like yeah, a cheetah with thoughts of an assassin. assassin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and you, you, you referenced. I can't remember. I said I, re- I can't remember. Jizza, Any, Animal Planet. The Animal Planet. Yup. The Jizza. Anybody who's a who, who's who's a poet of poets, they, we always mention animals in our work. In our uh, Young Simba said, oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Uh, Young Simba said, Adam is Christ. Uh, Killer Priest. Uh, Killer Priest. Adam is Christ. We get deep. That's uh, some of y'all going too deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, nah, well, well, Adam would be in AD, line. He agrees with you. Well, Christ would be related to Adam because in the Torah, Jesus. Uh, Oh, excuse me, in the New Testament, Synoptic the Gospels, Jesus goes all the way back to Adam. And in accordance to the Quran, Adam is actually a prophet. He was considered a prophet. Cadman, as they say. Adam Cadman. Yeah, there's another name. So, I mean, you know. Ad- Admo. Yeah. Yeah, Admo in the Samaritan text. Yeah. Doom. Well, Adama, because we know that the word Adam oh. or Adama, yeah, there you go. Adam is inky. Oh, that, wait that a minute. Hold correct. on. That's deep. Adam is inky. It could right because now, the word Adam really is the is the Hebrew word Adama, and that means a group of Adam. It wasn't just one Adam. They make you think it was one people, but it was really uh, the tribe was called Kedman, that tribe. 
the tribe of Adam. So the tribe of Adam, Adam wasn't just, they didn't just think it's one particular person. It was really a tribe of people. So it was more people. Yeah. Adam? Because you know the Bible have you thinking that, you know, it was only, it wasn't that many people on earth, it was just Adam and Eve. Well, it's not even written in English. Well, the, the original text, mm -hmm. Tehuti said the Septuagint uh, Septu was yeah. older than the Torah. Yeah. Now, I asked him to explain that one. That was that was kind of well. Crazy. You have well. You have the, the you have the Torah, right? And then after bring that, it back down. the Septuagint was taken. A lot of that stuff was taken from the um, ancient uh, Sumerian writings and different things like that, where they try to different god or the Babylonian gods mm. and the Sumerian gods and the Mesopotamian gods. How they relayed a lot of those. Like that's why you see a lot of Semitic uh, words that's very similar to. Um, the Sumerian text of the end gear it all comes from the it all comes from that particular uh, group of ancient people from you know what I mean so to speak yeah yeah yeah, yeah. what about uh, Eve um, the same cat what's his name Demetrius uh, says, uh, Eve is Nint, Ninti what? yeah I mean bring that out bring that out I thought she was according Ishtar. to the Sumerian text if you Eve could also be when you read the Sahufs of Abraham right mm -hmm. you'll find out that Cadman and the K-Ball, they, they were triplets. You understand what I'm saying? This is all in the ancient, uh, the so-called holy tablets. Doc speaks about it. Right. But in, no. and also the, taken from the ancient Sahufs of what's Ibrahim. The, what's the Sahufs? The Sahufs, are the, uh, they say that these are the books that was written before the Torah, uh -huh. where you can find where it talks about Cadman. Who and, are they? And, uh, cause they was, because there was... It was a group of triplets. You right. had. Let me ask you one Good. question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who was who? Who was what was the books before the Torah about the Sahufs? What kind of language was that, and who? What kind of people was that? They say that uh, they, they say that they really it come from the Chaldean people, the Mesopotamian Mesopotam people. Mesopotamia. But it's written in Soretic, I mean, uh, Aramic Hebrew. Bring it back now. Yeah. Ad. I'm sorry. The Septuagint is also called. Which, this is um. What's the name? Deep already. And Tony not even here. Is his spirit? <laughs> All right. Go hold up. Four Horns said we're gonna get back into okay. that. Four Horns said many many ancient worship trees as gods. It says columns and temples and government buildings represents trees. Oh. Well, yeah, we have oh. the olive tree in Freemasonry. They have the olive tree. Yeah. Right. That was heavy. And then they also have the holly tree. That's also a part of Masonic lore, just to let people know. And what's the holly tree? That's where you get the Hollywood, from Hollywood. Hollywood from. They say they, they come from the, because you know that the Masonic order also deals with the Druid, they have a Druid faction too. Right. You know, they deal with the Knights of Templar, the Druids, and various different uh, um, different orders with, under the Masonic Lodge. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So yes, trees has always been used in the um, mystery schools of the so-called secret societies, yes. What do trees got to do with astrology? Ad, I heard the street, the trees, the branches were uh, parts of the zodiac too. I mean, it's the same thing as far as the uh, model of uh, everything, because you've got the Taurus field happening within the tree the Taurus? itself. The Taurus field, or the Torah. The Taurus field, oh, okay, which okay. And that's also related too. But the Taurus field is as above, so below. You've got that that outside coming back in, almost like a donut inside and out. So. Trees have the above and below, so you've got the tree going up, and then you also have the roots. Going down. Do you know what I'm saying? What do that mean, though? Why use a tree? You, see, in the ancient, like he said, in, in the ancient, people worship the trees as gods. Well, so what did that do? What, what did that do? What did that come well, from? You also pointed out that the trees worship the sun mm -hmm. because they come up like this. Yeah, they do. Right? Do you know yeah. I mean? Sunflowers. Mm -hmm. They look. They imitate. They, mm -hmm. they imitate the universe. So you have sunflowers. There's no reason for them to look that way. But they right. look that way for a reason. Mm -hmm. But they're growing up and they're growing down because we got to remember that the roots mm. are also going down there too. Do you know what I mean? It's not mm. like it's just an above thing. It's it's down below. Killing so it. As above, so below. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but that he, he just killed it. Mm -hmm. So the tree, so the tree is growing in both ways. So that's like 360 or is that like perfection it's like both ways good like in the, that. that's the yin yang I mean you could you could look at like that yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. when you start taking it to somebody just turned to red somebody just turned it red spring and summer and then fall and winter, winter. and fall do you know what I mean but this, the tree stays alive technically in fall and winter the roots are still there right but then the leaves will fall and then you get spring and summer so what about winter right. flowers 
Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, oh, you know who this is. You yeah, know yeah. who that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, he is. That's the couple. Yeah. <laughs> that's the couple. The, the Santana clan. Santana yeah. and Ariel. Yeah. Ariel in the house. Big yeah. up to Ariel. She made. She turned it red. She said, "See." She said, uh, "CSG C- training." Mm-hmm. Peace a- and love from the Ariel Santana. We going into some mm-hmm. deep side. Little Da Vinci, Little Da Vinci in the building. He got the sunflower in there that's imitating. It looks just like the sun. Look at that. Mm-hmm. And for those that and the middle of it's black. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, the lotus flower, when it blooms out, looks like the sun as well. Yeah. Lotus. Don't know. You can't mm-hmm. front on the lotus flower. My, that's a good one. Yeah, you came yeah. up with that. The lotus. Mm-hmm. Isn't it? There's blue lotus. There's, there's different color lotus. There's right? different lotus. You know, the lotus, lotus. A lotus flower, when you sniff it, sniff in the fragrance of the lotus in ancient Kemet, they use that as a um, medical remedy. To, right. to, to relieve to relieve the body of certain allergies and stuff like that. So they would yeah. make, let them sniff the, the, the fragrance of the lotus in and it was used as a healing remedy. Right. Yeah, look that up. Lotus. That's why the lotus was always tea. revived in ancient Egypt as a, a, a symbol of healing. Lotus tea. Yeah, lotus tea. Did they have the lotus on the, the, on the glyphs? Uh, yes. I know Asians. I know. Uh, in fact, I wear a lotus. Yeah, let me see the lotus. I wear and a then, lotus. Uh, From the Sufi I, I order. Know, I know in. Uh, I know yeah. in. Um, Hindu. It has a seven pointed star yeah, on it is here. A lotus, yeah. And the, the crescent. How old the, is Who, who created brand. that? This is from the Sufi order I'm part of. You get, they okay. give you this. Okay. They give you these. The lotus. How one. old is that? I'm going to go. The symbol. I'm just want to say. I would back say to that old <clears throat> symbol. Ancient, oh, how old is this, the depiction of the lotus? Yeah. That's a good, that's a good question. I know. Well, you have to, in order to figure, to answer that, you probably have to go back to the, try to find the oldest carving in ancient Kemet. Or in Africa of the lotus, I yeah. know you can find it. You know what I'm saying? In Kemet, you probably had to go to the oldest temple, and, and that would be probably at the temple of uh, Epet Hupet <laughs> yeah. Karnak, yeah. the original name. Um, so yeah, probably there. What about yeah, um, geometrics, what right? About? The ge- geometrics because they have so certain symbols in um, in um, in the geometric forms. And I, I was just looking at um, I think before. that the uh, Oh wow! Somebody just turned it 177. Wow! Wow! Neo, Neo. Made it red. Awesome. In the building, um, 177. That's 100. There, there is a Nene. Nene, shout out to Nene. He said peace and power. Use the money wisely. One L, one love. Yo, we always gonna do that. Yes, and I'm gonna yes. say this to Nene. Uh, 177,000 chosen people. <laughs> <laughs> nah, everybody say 144. Why it can't be 177,000? That sounds better. <laughs> I, I never really like 144. Because 12 one. times 12 is 144. 12 times 12. So 12 okay. zones. 12, 12 zones of the zodiac, 12 disciples. Yeah, 12 months. 12 months of the year. But that's, to me, all right, AD, I'm going to throw it at you now. Here we go. <laughs> because I have to throw it at you. Because the 12, who, who came up with the 12? Um... Num- numeral uh who came up with that did that, that, that start with the greeks the lord really i mean that's the just the, that's just the breakdown do you know what i'm saying yeah because you just you're just breaking it down into force what about the babylonian account on the on, on the uh how they saw in the mool a pin tap like how did they see the astronomy back then like you know back in the mm-hmm. ancient egypt and kinemic and stuff what did they yeah. see i mean you obviously got to do it do they use 12 you got to do an even number mm-hmm. right so um, they were able to calculate the best way to break it down. You could probably break it down into more twos. You could probably break mm-hmm. it down to thirty twos if you wanted to, or, right? Or, or you know, because you got twenty four hours and all that. But th- you got the duality going day. on with the two and two. Uh, the whole point of the calendar and the astrology is just to break down frequency, right? Because spring, summer, fall, and winter is just a frequency. It's up and down, up and down. So when you break that down into sections, they're just making it easy and breaking it down to twelve. Yeah. So, so I know they the universe is based on twelve. They found everything is based on twelve. Everything is moving into twelve. But that's the that's the markers for us to make it easy. Now you can go hardcore, and one is really uh, there's three there's three deacons in each sign. Pull up one and pull. So like Aries, they'll, they'll be the first deacon, second deacon, and three third deacon. So twelve times three, you could break it down into thirty six. Do you know what I mean? But to 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 make it simpler. Right. Yeah. So, so pull up some of the so get, spring, summer, fall, and winter is breaking it down to four. Put up astrology in the hieroglyphics. Then twelve. 
let's 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 go into a little mm. bit of that because we we talking about these trees and I know <laughs> somebody Santos says trees is the blueprint. Shout out to San, uh, Santos. Uh, Dad, his name is Santos Santana. <laughs> That's yeah. both of them mixed up in one. And he's junior. Oh, God. Tree, oh, they relate. He said, trees is the blueprint of everything universal, like the Kabbalah. Mm. Also represent the consciousness and subconsciousness. Mm -hmm. Now, see, when you look at it like that, I, I feel you because, mm -hmm. okay, because, <laughs> all right, bro. I mean, you yeah, might as well stop hiding. That's tree okay, juice. All right, drink. all right. <laughs> <laughs> go all ahead, right, brother. Yeah, go ahead. We're doing the ge geometry, right? <laughs> because I, I do see the uh, the bull horns. We're gonna talk about that. I want you to come out with that because I want to know about this these bull horns and this sun disc. And then, uh, yeah, the tree is the blueprint on everything. You were right about that in uh, what uh, AD said too. Growing up and going down, and going towards the sun, and then going into the depths of the below and the roots and the roots, which holds the tree. Nobody really can see that. Mm -hmm. So he said, trees is the blueprint to everything. Okay. And then it says, uh, and it was an ancient proverb. Somebody says, I behold, I see men as trees. Could you put that in real quick so we can read that? Just to get on the tree because we spoke on water. Mm -hmm. you, you hear when we building on water? Oh, uh, now, I don't know. You. We, got, we got water trees. We're going to get, because we need these elements, right? The four elements. I think, we, I think we, what we're doing, right? You look at it. We are actually putting uh, the God or God into existence because we were bringing all of these elements back together. And L, yeah. you got the word L. Yeah, element. And, and elements, mm -hmm. right? So in these in these, in these L's, we are bringing something back together. And with the help of the uh, podcast, um, I think we uh, we on to something right now. So you. And uh, AD well, or, astrology, water. we got, we got, we no, got, I'm we got you. you Agent came in. Oh, you okay? Yeah. No. Well, I'll say this: the mystery of the garden is in Mark eight twenty four. Let's let's go to eight Mark eight twenty four, and then you can build. Okay, okay. Build. We're gonna go to Mark eight twenty four. Come on, Mark eight twenty three. My bad. And you said that's the mystery of the gardens. I'm gonna read it. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go oh, ahead. oh, Continue oh. Building. I'm a, <laughs> oh, you're I'm, talking about, well, we was talking about water. Yeah, <clears throat> we, was, we was talking about Well, water. shout out to Naptali, water is the, I've always. got to shout out Naptali. Big up the Naptali, man. Yeah. Salam alaikum, bro. He in the feed? Big up Naptali. But um, water, right? I'm, I've always been fascinated with it. Because I feel like that, you know, well, water is the only uh, element that can become Hell? self. Yeah, see? A solid, a liquid, and a gas. It can transform into various different forms. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And water is used for where uh, molecules can form inside of water okay. in a liquid form. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we know when you start talking about life on out in the universe, mm -hmm. we right. know that there's that there we there there are, there are molecules and chemical comp. There's water there, mm -hmm. whether it's in a gas form. Mm -hmm. Whatever is in a liquid form. I was, I was telling Icy that. I hope you, you know what I'm icy. saying. So okay. what is it? What is the ingredients to create life? First, water, you need water. energy. Yeah. You need energy. Mm -hmm. Second, you need what? Oxygen. Uh -huh. Third is okay. what? Water. Water. Uh -huh. And we know that those three elements exist in the universe. But water is saying? life. It is. It it's is. It's already life. It, it and is. energy is already life. Yes. Yeah, so it's, not we, even we, it's, 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 it's crazy because you can't even create it. This is what I'm talking about with science. Is why I tell you people, tell people all the time. You know, I always use the basic. I try to use the basic scientific method yeah, on, yeah. on this show, like 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 sugar and flour. Or, like, like, <laughs> well, well, I'm just saying, <laughs> like on, on your show, yeah, exactly. You don't want to probe totally, oh, she, totally into yeah, go stuff that people can't understand. He you know what I mean? As soon as we start talking about this, so so. When, when trying to, to, to find life on other planets and different things out there or just find life out in the universe, in my opinion, we've kind of already found it. Well, we're in the universe. Th that's what I'm saying. We are, I've, you, I've always said, like, you should, human beings should study ourselves. To, if we could study, our, we could study ourselves, then the, we're not the only ones. You know, we, we, we already know what we're made up of. You know what I'm saying? Basic organic molecules, water. You know what I'm saying? Water is, listen, we are what we eat when they say that, right? Uh huh. So you look at the sun, right? Which shines um, super, super, so beautiful. And um, 
out throughout the galaxy. So if we are part of that, then knowledge, we and this is symbolic, right. knowledge has to ensue, come from us in a big in a big form. Right. So, and right. then we are taught, yo man, you ain't nobody, but you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. You're eating part of the sun. Everything that in the universe exists within you, in every cell. And so you, you you walk around a lot of a lot of us walk around feeling like yo man we ain't doing nothing.